I wake up to an empty bed. Envy is already up and making coffee. Industrious as always. I walk out to the kitchen to greet him good morning. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Sensations. Last time I left you off right after we had some fun time with Envy. And we also learned about Envy's secret side job as a camboy. So let's just get right into it. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Would you like coffee? Sure. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but it always smells so good. So, when is this party? Hmm, not for a few more hours. I didn't really make any food. I usually eat at work. I guess I shouldn't say I didn't make any food. I don't have much food here. So, uh, we can go get some food if you're hungry, but... But? I would recommend against eating anything. Why is that? My mother will be there, and she will pressure you to eat. Roman will be there, and he will pressure you to drink. It's better to go in starving. <laughs> Makes sense. I am slightly hungry, but I'll take your word for it. <sighs> Trust me. These parties Roman throws are... something else. I love how I'm just forced to become a part of a fixture of your life now. I just have to go to this party. I have to do everything with you. All because I'm a homeless man. <laughs> and you're just cool with it. I'm both interested and anxious. What will you do until the party? Well, I don't usually have days off. What would you like to do? Uh, ah. Well, if we must... I don't think he'd like it, though. I think he's gonna dislike it. Oh, oh. well, we could. Okay, well, that's wrong. You seem hesitant. I know this is going to sound weird, but Roman is in town. <laughs> he just can't stop thinking about his brother. <laughs> Whoa. And? <sighs> My mom gave him a key. He could walk in while we... You know. Ah, I understand. We can just move the couch in front of your door. That way we'll have plenty of time to be modest and decent if we hear him. <laughs> modest. Or maybe we just don't care about the couch. And head to your room? I... I think so. Envy and I killed... Uh, plenty of time. And now I'm starving. We got dressed after another short shower. Locked his apartment and drove to La Casita in his truck. Envy and I drive over in his truck. Envy seems more like he's driving to a funeral than a party. Poor guy really doesn't enjoy these get-togethers. No. We arrive and the parking lot is half full. Roman outside welcoming people. You know, we don't have to do this. <laughs> Alex, you act like this is something sacrifice. It's a party. How bad could things be? That's what people in horror movies say, right before an alligator eats their face. I don't know what horror movies you've been watching, but alligators are not very scary. As long as you can run, that is. Come on, we'll be fine. With a resigned sigh, Envy exits his truck, and I follow. His brother wastes no time in declaring our arrival. Alex, little brother and el novio. My, my. Even more handsome in the light. No, oh dear. Come in, come in. The party is going to start soon. Mama is in the back. Uh, go see her. If you would like, pick up one of my seasonal beers. I know you will love it. Thanks, Roman. Ah, anything for you. Ah, here come some of my friends. Very important people. <laughs> Run along. We cannot have you moping about when they are here. Ah, yes, family. <sighs> we walk into the restaurant, and there's gaudy festive ribbons everywhere. I can tell Roman had a hand in that. Everything about him seems to be... over the top. <laughs> well, here we are. Here we are. Honestly, I'd be fine with leaving after saying hello to my... 
Thank you, ma'am. Oops. Well, you know, it really shouldn't be auto-advancing the dialogue on me, okay? Because that's, that's a recipe for me to skip it. Ma'am? Ma'am? Not ma'am. You may call me mom. We are family here. We are family here. Mom. Hey, Alex! Your brother has brought some of his new product to the party! Oh, that is so generous! Have you tried it? Mom, we literally just arrived. Kosuke, do you like beer? Honestly, I'm not much of a beer drinker. That's okay. Even people who hate beer love romance. Here, try it. No, thank you, ma'am. Envy looks at me astonished, then looks at his mother. Alex, you will try. You will insult your brother if you don't. I, uh... Envy looks at me, and a flicker of shame appears before he speaks. I think I will, uh, be okay for now. I cannot drink on an empty stomach, remember? No! <gasps> you have not eaten today? That is unacceptable. You starve your own boyfriend. No wonder he is so thin. Just look at him. I can see ribs. Come, come. Envy's mom drags us to the dining room, where a massive buffet of food has been set up. She immediately starts listing off all the food items on display. She seems a little too proud of this party. We have everything cooked here. I have been up since 5 a.m. for this. You know how much time it takes to feed hungry businessmen? I'm guessing you have to be up at 5 a.m. to even have a chance. Yes, 5 a.m. And I know Alex is off being lazy and not helping. Why, Roman came here at 11 and pulled up all these beautiful ribbons. Well, Alejandro was at my... Well, my, I was about to say my apartment. <laughs> I've really moved into that place, haven't I? Well, at 11, Alex was at my apartment taking my thick, juicy loads, so he had a lot of work to do, too. Alex is here every day, though, right? Usually, yes. Why? Well, he has a boyfriend now, so he might not be here as often, I think. The conversation careened to a halt, as if I'd said something extremely offensive. Envy's mom looked at me, as though the thought had never occurred to her. Envy seemed completely shocked at my bluntness. Uh, uh, Kosuke, here is my father. He has not met you yet. Wasn't he the host who showed me the table? Way to change the subject, Envy. Hmm, I saw you here the other night. Yep, your son's food was so good I decided to date him. <laughs> he is a good cook, and a good son. He would make a very good partner. I hope you will be the same. I, uh, hope that I can be, too. Father, stop embarrassing me. We need to get food. We have not eaten today. Ah, forgive me. Please, help yourselves. Envy breathes a sigh of relief as his mother and father walk away. We survived, Alex. We did it. We have not survived Roman. Not yet. Well, let's get some food so at the very least we can die eating something delicious. Yes, let's. We reach the table, and it's completely covered with dishes I'm unfamiliar with. Lots of meat. I have no idea what's supposed to go with what, so I just follow Envy's lead. So, what do you like? Hmm, anything really. But I'm going to have a stuffed chili relleno before anything else. Chili re re relleno? <laughs> so am I. What's that? <laughs> it's a pablano, stuffed with cheese and fried on the outside. Pablano. That sounds delicious. It is. I load up my dish with one of the chilies. So, we have the chili relleno. What else? You said it wrong. <laughs> well, it's boring, but I'm going to have some chicken tacos as well. With how hungry I am, no food sounds boring. Well, don't eat too much. You might be guilty of gluttony. And that's a deadly sin. <laughs> what you what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? Envy thinks he's so clever, being a deadly sin in plain sight. 
I can't wait to tell him I've been lost all along. Okay, this time we're looking forward to telling the person we're duping. We're not even... We're not like, oh, I was so afraid how he's gonna react. We're like, I'm ready. I want to tell him. I want to see the look on his face. I want to be like, pranked, bro. Okay, this is... Let's of go. course not. Wouldn't want that. No, sir. Envy selects a few more things before we walk over to a table and sit down. Before we can eat, an old woman walks slowly over to us. Ah, Kosuke. This is my abuela. Grandmother, this is my, uh, boyfriend. Kosuke. Nice to meet you, young man. So glad to see my advice turned out correct. Advice? <sighs> no. <laughs> The first time I saw you here, I knew there was something special about you. I told Alex he needs to ask you out for a date. Oh. So, when can I expect grandkids? Well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> his intestines are full of my semen. You know? <laughs> we were just about to eat. Imagine that. I don't know. I told Envy I want a huge family. Maybe five, six kids? <coughs> of course, adopting can take a while, so I'll have to get back to you on that. Well, it's good you want kids. Roman has so much money and never married. Such a shameful waste. Envy's grandmother wanders away to see if she can make anyone else feel uncomfortable. You know how he gets all that money, abuela. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. It's fine, but I want it even. It, it even? Yeah, three girls, three boys. <laughs> I'm joking. She seems like a nice lady. Less demanding, says what she means. I guess. So, are there any other relatives I should meet? Hmm, the main ones you have already met. I imagine if we stay away from Roman, this party might go well. He seems too busy talking to anyone that will listen. Hmm. We start eating, and as expected, everything is delicious. Envy seems to have relaxed a little bit. I can see why he doesn't care for these sorts of parties. Everyone seems so happy, but it seems forced. The food is great, but I need a drink. Do you want anything? Oh, I'm sorry. Please, I'll get the drinks. What do you want? Oh, just water's fine. Okay, stay here. I'll be right back. Envy gets up and hurries to find his drinks. Like a vulture, Roman swoops into the open seat. Kosuke, my friend! How is the party? Are you loving it? No, oh, no. Hi, Roman. Party's good. How are you? Ah, so good. I am always good. I just made a business deal with seven restaurants here in this city. I didn't ask. Congratulations. Ah, but where is my little brother? He should not leave his guest unattended. Rude! He's off getting us a drink. Being a gentleman. Lots of people don't have the time for courtesy. It's a shame, wouldn't you agree? Roman's eyes narrow angrily before returning to their practiced, enthusiastic state. <laughs> My brother can be a gentleman, but what is the use if he has no money? He must work hard, like I did, before he starts a family. Oh, is your husband or wife here? I'd love to meet them. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. I have not decided on a family yet. I am so busy making money, you see. Hi, uh, I got us drinks so we could finish our food. Alex, I have been entertaining Kosuke while you were away. A fascinating person and great at conversation. I'm actually, you know, subtly attacking you in this conversation, but okay. Is that so? Yes, but enough about that. I wanted to show you my new watch. It is $10,000. You can track direction on it if you are ever lost. It has so many cool features. Wow, I do get lost all the time. That's... very nice. Yes! One day, if you work hard, you can have one of these watches too. Maybe you should come work for me, huh? I could take you under my wing, teach you all about hard work. That's okay, 
thank you. If you are going to start dating, you must think of financial security. Don't lecture me. <laughs> Sometimes you need it. Come work for me, Alex. It would make mother and father proud. Now that I make tequila, I need extra help. I'm sure many of your business associates would love the opportunity. Alex, mother and father are not going to be around forever. And then what will you do? You cannot slack off, expecting them to take care of everything for you. You need to start planning. How old are you anyway? Envy gets up suddenly and walks away. Roman looks satisfied with himself. Grr. <sighs> he just needs some guidance. He may have faults, but he works twice as hard as you. Nice talking with you. Maybe try having some fucking sympathy for people without your easy life. I get up and leave the table to follow Envy. Nice. Roman stares after me, astonished. I feel that people standing up to his bullish demeanor is an uncommon occurrence. I follow Envy out of the restaurant, towards the smoking patio out back. Envy doesn't smoke. At least, I don't notice the smell if he does. Envy is standing with his back to the entrance as I walk out. Hey, I told off your brother. He hates me now. <sighs> so, I have a future in your family at least. I too can make people awfully uncomfortable. <laughs> I know you're just trying to cheer me up. And is it working? No. No. Oh. <sighs> sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. I know, but I want you to feel better. You wanna- We could, Oops. but we haven't been here long. I'll have a bunch of calls from my mom if we leave now. Better to just stay a bit. I'm up for whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. <sighs> Thanks. So, what should we do? We've eaten, we've met your darling family. What do you want to do now? Well, uh... We could head to the restroom for a quickie if you want. Right here? R under the same roof as Ab Abuela? Abuelita? <laughs> oh, what? You were thinking it. I was not! That's... That's really bad. <laughs> it was a joke. Unless... <laughs> but seriously, what are you thinking? <sighs> it's a little awkward. You probably would not want to. Try me. I'm open-minded. Okay, uh... We could dance. Roman always clears out the tables in the restaurant to put on a show. I usually don't. But since you're here, we could dance. Together. If you wanted. I don't think I've ever danced seriously in my life. I can guide you through some simple dances. I am actually an okay dancer. I've taken a few years of classes. So... When you say okay, you probably mean competitive level, right? <laughs> no, not really. I am competent. Nothing more. Well, I don't see why not. Other than the fact I'm going to totally embarrass myself. We don't have to go in and dance in front of anyone. Roman blasts the music so we could just dance out here on the patio. Oh, that's a relief. When's he gonna start the music? A perfectly timed blast of music, then static and high-pitched squealing cuts through the party atmosphere. Roman shouts sorry multiple times, before starting up a light but lively song. Now, I suppose... Cool. I'm ready to be guided. Envy walks up to me hesitantly, then takes my hand. He wraps his arm around my waist, and I try to mimic what he's doing. I've never actually danced with someone. I awkwardly place my hand on his back. The urge to grab his butt is almost overwhelming, and the music starts. <laughs> what are you thinking? Nothing. Nothing indeed, I'm sure. So suave. Alright, follow my steps. Envy guides me, taking steps slowly. I do my best to follow him. You're doing well. Thanks. I've been practicing for about a minute. My family is watching us. Is he that short? Damn. Hmm? 
No, don't look. They'll just distract you. Keep following my steps. Oh, sorry. We continue our dance, <laughs> and I think I've gotten the hang of the movements. The song continues, and Envy picks up his pace. I trip momentarily, then regain my footing. Another minute passes, and Envy and I finish the dance. Envy flourishes grandly, and produces a rose from... somewhere? He hands it to me and smiles shyly. Within the restaurant, there's muffled applause from his family and guests. Thank you for the dance, Kosuke. The pleasure was mine, Alex. Roman apparently wanted the attention back on him. He turned up the music and started a lively tune inside. I... I feel a lot better. I'm glad. As if to ruin the moment, Envy's mom bursts out the back door. Alexander, come in! Your brother is about to do his sombrero dance. It is so funny. Kosuke will love it. I probably won't. Envy looks at me, seeing what I'd like to do. I subtly shake my head. Envy's in a good mood now. No need to have Roman ruin it again. Actually, Mother, we're going to head out. Kosuke is not feeling well. Oh, are you okay, Kosuke? Uh, yes. I think I just ate too much. The food was so good, though. I had to try some of everything. Oh, Kosuke, you are so polite! I love you. I'm so glad Alexander has you. But now, Alex, take Kosuke to your house right now. He must lay down. You must make sure he is comfortable. Go, go. Why didn't you say take Kosuke to his house? Do you know I'm homeless too? Yes, Mom. I can bring over soup later to make you feel better. I think you'll be just fine. I'll call you if he needs soup. Kosuke, if you need soup, make Alex call. Well, uh, we better get going. He isn't feeling well after all. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go! Envy and I walk to his truck. Envy opens the door for me, like the gentleman he is. Thanks. Envy hops into the truck and laughs. Not a joyful laugh. A laugh that means he's relieved of stress. He turns on the car and pulls out of the parking lot. We made it! We've survived. We should celebrate somehow. Hmm. How should we celebrate? Um. I guess. I'd love to. I've never actually been on it. I heard it's an amazing view from the top. I feel like the other one would have been better. Because even with my lust ability, that's only one small blue arrow. I've never been either. Let's go. Envy drives towards the strip. He seems to be in a much better mood. Being around his family seems to suck the soul out of him. I'm glad he feels comfortable around me. A short time later, we arrive at the wheel. Envy parks, and we walk together to buy tickets. Envy, always the gentleman, insists on buying the tickets. So, I let him. I'm not one to argue. It's pretty empty. There's a few people in line to get on but it looks likely we'll get a booth to ourselves. Which could be interesting. Oh God. After a few minutes, the wheel turns, and an associate waves everyone in front of us on. Ah, what luck. We'll have our own booth. So, it'll just be us, alone with our thoughts. Alone for about 30 minutes. They say a full revolution takes about that long. Hmm... Five minutes later, we're waved inside the next booth. The attendant smiles and shuts the cabin door, telling us to have fun. And I intend to have fun. Oh yeah. We walk inside, and Envy wastes no time grabbing my hand and bringing me to his bedroom. I'm glad he's so into me. Envy motions for me to lay on the bed. I lay down and he starts undressing. Envy's eagerness is a turn on. I love that he's so passionate. Alright guys, but I think that's where I'm going to end this episode for today. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. And I'd also like to thank my lovely patrons who support me at the Eden tier above. And their names are NQS, Jesse Olsen, Blue Lagoon, and Felix. So thank you guys so much. And also I thank all my patrons for supporting me and making it possible for me to play these games on my channel. And we come back in the next episode, I think we're going to continue this spicy scene. 
And yeah, I hope you're looking forward to it, as am I. So, bye guys.